In the 60 years of Eurovision Song Contest history, Ralph Siegel has got a special place. The producer and songwriter from Germany has written more than 20 entries. That is a world record. No one else composed more Eurovision songs than he did. And several of them became evergreens. Ralph Siegel's first entry was Bye Bye I Love You, performed by Irene Shear, who represented Luxembourg. The song reached four plays in 1974, the year that ABBA won. In 1976, Ralph Siegel competed for his home country, Germany, for the first time with Sing Sang Song, performed by the Les Humphreys Singers. I remember when Les Humphreys came like this and with a victory sign and I said, God, please don't show a victory sign. And I remember Jürgen Dreyfus, but I don't really remember what we have been doing, where we were living, where we were staying. I forgot the hotel, I forgot even if I came by train or by... It's, it's too long ago, it was 1976. One of Siegel's personal highlights was 1979, and indeed everyone still remembers Genghis Khan, which also came forth on stage in Jerusalem. For me, a highlight already was Jerusalem with Genghis Khan. To be in, in Jerusalem was, was very, very emotional, as well as when we were there with uh, Journey to Jerusalem, you know, Genghis Khan. Jerusalem was very emotional. And uh, also, naturally, uh, talking about uh, Harrogate, which was such a small, little city, you know, and, and naturally the emotion to win is very special. And One of the most remarkable moments in his career was the first ever victory of Germany in the Eurovision Song Contest. And that credit goes to Ralph Siegel, who wrote Ein bisschen Frieden for Nicole together with Bernd Meininger. Highlight was now that Nicole was 17 years old and last October I sent her roses for her 50th birthday. And this almost killed me because I, Boy, this is already 30 years ago and you suddenly see 33 years walking by and the little girl was 50 years old and now that you see how old I am. In total, Siegel penned songs for five countries. Besides Germany and Luxembourg, he competed for Switzerland, Montenegro and San Marino. As a true veteran, Ralph Siegel can describe the evolution of the Eurovision Song Contest over the last 40 years. And Brighton was, I mean, you know, they took the four, first four lines out to put in the cameras. <laughs> and now you have such a hall with such an amazing show. And I must say, Kurt Pongratz and the Swedish director, they together make a fantastic show here. It's fantastic. The whole, the lights, the whole, it's all like a chain of lights. <laughs> and. It, it's fabulous what they're doing today, but as I said, everything changes, everything has its new rules and it's the hard to still be the same. You hope and dream of being in the final and hope that your artists do well and people like your song. Everything